The Cadillac CT6 is the brand's top tier full-size luxury sedan, boasting the best of what Cadillac has to offer in terms of luxury, comfort, and technology. With the CT6 having way more well-established competitors from the European luxury automakers, is the CT6 worth your hard-earned cash? Well, let's go ahead and find out and take a closer look at this 2018 Cadillac CT6. Introduced as a brand new model to the Cadillac model lineup just a couple of years ago, the Cadillac Touring 6 succeeded the Fleetwood that ended production way back in the late 90s. Compared to other vehicles in the segment such as the BMW 7 Series and Mercedes-Benz S-Class, the CT6 is slightly shorter in size with its length measuring at 204 inches and width at 74 inches. The CT6 exudes a strong, elegant presence with familiar styling traits such as vertical LED headlights and taillights, and these quad exhaust tips sure spice up things a bit. Many enhancements are in store for 2018, most notably being the addition of a high-pressure washer and an automatic heated steering wheel, while the biggest news comes from Cadillac's new Super Cruise Control system, which allows for hands-free highway driving. Our trim of the CT6 we also have here is the luxury trim. And here is the key fob for the vehicle. Typical Cadillac key fob. It's pretty decent looking. You have your lock, unlock, as well as your remote engine start. Very convenient. And your power trunk lid as well as your panic alarm. This exterior color of the CT6 is known as the Crystal White Tri-Coat and it does come equipped with smart key access on all four doors of the vehicle. And we have the two-toned light platinum and jet black leather interior with perforated leather seating. And you also do have your power adjustable driver's seat with power recline and power lumbar. Stepping on inside of the CT6 here, as you can see, this is one of the most opulent cabins out of a Cadillac to date. And I love the wood grain interior trim, as well as the two tones going on with the light platinum and the jet black that certainly adds contrast inside of this interior. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's on par with the German luxury competitors like the Mercedes-Benz S-Class and the BMW 7 Series, but then again, the CT6 is nowhere near as expensive as those vehicles. You do have push button ignition, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. What you're hearing there is a 3.6 liter V6. You have a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Coming to your transmission, eight speed automatic transmission. We also have manual shiftability. And when you put the vehicle into reverse, this will display your surround vision camera system. You have your rear view camera, a top down view, and then you also do have a front facing camera as well. Let's go ahead and turn on the headlights as well as the hazards. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the CT6. All windows are fully automatic. Pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior side mirrors with LED side turn signal indicators and blind spot detection. And for your wheels, you'll find 19 inch machined alloy wheels with pearl nickel pockets and Cadillac lettering on the front calipers. Coming up front here, we have LED headlights with LED daytime running lights, LED turn signal indicators, and automatic high beams. And you'll also find LEDs for the low and the high beams, as well as your front parking sensors. Powering the CT6 is one of the three powertrains available for the vehicle. It's a 3.6 liter V6 that produces 335 horsepower at 6,800 RPM and 284 pound-feet of torque at 5,300 RPM with EPA estimates being a pretty decent 18 in the city and 27 on the highway. You can also opt for rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive on this vehicle 
and your other powertrains for the CT6 include a two liter turbocharged four cylinder, which is your standard engine. And then you can also opt for a three liter twin turbo six cylinder engine, which actually produces over 400 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. And it's also the first twin turbo six cylinder to be featured with cylinder deactivation. But this 3.6 liter V6 should satisfy most consumers pretty well, as it's pretty potent and gets this vehicle moving pretty quickly. With our CT6 being equipped with a mid-range 3.6 liter V6, you'll find power to be sufficient enough to pull around this big luxury barge. Those who opt for the twin turbo six cylinder are certainly in for a surprise and treat with the over 400 horsepower on tap, the CT6 turns quickly into a rocket. The ride is incredibly compliant and well controlled while not being overly soft nor firm and road noise is extremely quiet in the vehicle. Steering and handling may not be the CT6's expertise, but it's certainly not vague or numb feeling. It isn't your grandfather's old floaty boaty Cadillac, with handling being on par with much of the competition. Pricing of the CT6 starts at the base model, which starts at $53,795. Then you can move up to the luxury, which starts at $58,695. Premium luxury, $63,895 and the top-of-the-line Platinum, $83,795. And the Platinum model also comes standard with the Super Cruise Control System, which is new for 2018. And you can also select between the three different powertrains that are available on the CT6 as well. And competitors of the vehicle, you're looking at vehicles in the full-sized luxury sedan class. And this includes the likes of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, BMW 7 Series, Lexus LS, as well as the Audi A8. But the CT6 is below average when it comes to price in the full-size luxury sedan segment. And like I said earlier, we do have quad exhaust tips, rear parking sensors, rear reflectors, and LED taillights with LED turn signal indicators. And we also do have the new high pressure rear washer uh, system for the rear view camera. Pricing of our particular CT6, you're looking at $65,885. The final assembly point for this vehicle is also in Detroit, Michigan. And the parts content information, you're looking at 39% from US and Canadian and China, 31%. And the country of origin for the engine and the transmission are from the United States. EPA estimates, like I said, 18 in the city and 27 on the highway as well. Of course, all of your basic power necessities, including power windows, power mirrors, and they also power fold, power door locks, memory seat settings for two people. The interior of the CT6 features a very modern and contemporary layout. It's pretty lavish inside of here, not on par with the some of the European competitors, but it's still a fairly nice cabin. There's plenty of soft touch points that abound inside of here, such as on the armrest, mid door panel, upper door panel, and you also find stitching everywhere inside of this vehicle as well. And overall, you will find that this interior is pretty well built. I mean, you won't find very many panel gaps inside of here. And overall, this interior feels fairly sturdy. Overall, really impressed with the interior quality and the layout of the, and the design of the CT6 here. The steering wheel is a little cluttered with buttons here, but features all of the necessary buttons and controls. On the left, you'll find your voice recognition, Bluetooth phone controls, cruise control, and you can go for the super cruise control system like I mentioned earlier. And then when you do have your steering wheel mounted audio controls and your controls for the eight inch central display here. Over here, you'll find your frontal collision warning, lane departure warning, as well as your heated steering wheel, which is automatic, which is new for 2018. And it also power tilts and telescopes with a pretty good range of adjustment. And up here, you'll find your streaming rear view mirror, 
which is one of the most innovative features that General Motors has ever rolled out onto one of their vehicles, and it debuted on the CT6 here when the first when the vehicle was first introduced. But you could turn it off if you would like and go back to just having a regular mirror. We do have your OnStar SOS Safety Connect and LED map lighting, as well as your panoramic sunroof with power sliding shades. And your garage home link. Dual zone automatic climate control with your adjustable fan speed levels, temperatures, and your heated seats for the driver in the front passenger and ventilated front seats which are also automatic. Front window defroster, rear window defroster. And I love how Cadillac went with toggle switches for the fan speed levels and the temperatures here as it feels much more premium and also is easier to operate. We do have dual cup holders and you'll find your automatic brake hold feature, traction control off, as well as your different driver selectable modes, which there are three of them. You have your tour mode, sports mode, as well as your snow and ice mode. Not a whole lot of center console storage here. It's not the ultimate family vehicle, but at least you will we'll find two USB charging ports as well as your auxiliary input. And it's very high quality line with felt and the lid is soft to the touch. You have your glove box compartment, which is opened up by this touch sensitive button right here. And visibility out of the CT6 is okay. There's a decent amount of glass area on the front windows and it does help that the A pillars are fairly narrow. But when you get to rearward visibility, it can be a slight challenge. Um, not a whole lot of visibility for the rear. And the rear window base back there is mounted up pretty high. But the seats are at least fairly comfortable and well supportive and pretty good for long road trips. And there's plenty of thigh support, even though ours doesn't even have the um, a power thigh extension. There's still lots of thigh support here. And the headrests are incredibly soft, plush. The Cadillac Q infotainment system here features a 10 inch color touchscreen display that also is updated slightly updated for the 2018 model year and you'll find basically two new features with the teen driver feature on the system as well as a app store collection feature as well but not much has changed overall with the system they haven't updated the quality of the display or anything like that but this is your home screen right here and your different audio sources do include all of the norm including AM, FM, XM, satellite radio. You also do have a direct tune feature, which is very convenient if you don't want to tune through all the different radio stations. You also do have HD radio as well, and your external media devices do include a USB charging port with iPod integration and an auxiliary input. And you'll also find your phone over here where you can hook up multiple Bluetooth devices and view your contacts, recent calls, and an integrated dial pad, and you can also view your voicemail as well. We do have your projection feature, which is for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Of course, you do have to have your phone connected to the USB cord cable. We do have a navigation system as well, which you can enter in your destination by voice if you would like. And you can zoom in and out, just going like that. Or you can pinch like this to zoom out. And then we also do have live traffic as well. And it'll also show you your points of interest. Coming back to the home screen, you have your settings, which there's many different settings that you could change here from the time and the date. We have the rear seat reminder, so every time you turn the vehicle off, the vehicle will remind you to check the rear seats, but you could turn that off if you would like. And then we have your language, which you could also change, and then your valet mode, teen driver, which you can monitor the habits and um, of your teenager, the driving habits of your teenager. And then your Bluetooth vehicle settings, such as the climate and the air quality, collision detection systems. And you have your rear cross traffic alert, lane change alert, front pedestrian detection for collision alert, and then your power door locks, lighting, all that good stuff. And then over here you'll find your climate, which you can adjust your climate functions from the touch screen if you don't want to do it by the buttons down there 
and then your weather, which will give you a five day forecast, an hourly forecast. You can also change the location if you would like. Your SMS text messaging function, which you can, um, of course you have to have your phone connected onto the system and it'll read out your text messages to you. Then we have your OnStar. And then your camera, which you can access at any time you would like, which is pretty cool and convenient. And your traffic for your traffic incidents. It'll give you a whole list in your nearby local area. And then your collection, which you can download apps onto the system. But overall, you'll find that the Q system is fairly responsive and intuitive. And there's nothing really wrong with this system. And you can also control it by the pad down here if you like, if you don't want to do it by the touchscreen, which is very convenient. And then you also do have a back button located right here as well. On the instrumentation and the gauge cluster here, you'll find an 8 inch screen for the central information display. And on the right, you'll find your speedometer, and on the left, your tachometer with your automatic start stop system. It'll show you if that's on or off. And then in the center right there, it's controlled by the buttons on the steering wheel. What's pretty cool is that it'll give you a mini map for your navigation system. You can also access various amounts of information about the vehicle, such as your digital speedometer, your trip information, fuel range, remaining oil life percentage, your tire pressure monitoring, and your fuel economy from the last 50 miles. It'll give you your best average. And then you also do have a timer, which you can start and stop at any time you would like. And you have your road sign information too, and your following distance. And then I'll also show you your direction of travel on the top. And then you have your audio source, which you could change from here. Your phone, which you can hang up and make telephone calls from here. And then options, which there's many different settings that you could change from the units, from US to metric. You have your software information, speed warning that you can enable if you would like. And then your info pages, which there's many different things that you can change if you want. The fuel range on or off or the oil life percentage are on or off if you would like. Pretty cool. And then you can also change the display theme from standard to technology. Some other pretty cool options of the CT6 that you can opt for including mas includes massaging front seats as well as the parallel parking system which ours has and you can also opt for the 34 speaker Bose Panerai sound system. Let's go ahead and shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Back here in the CT6 you'll find plenty of leg room as well as headroom too and the panoramic sunroof certainly lets in a more open an airy cabin and you also find heated rear seats and manual rear window sun shades. The interior quality also does follow through in the rear as well and the seats themselves are pretty comfortable a little on the firmer side compared to the front seats and you will find a rear center armrest with the storage compartment as well as cup holders and you can also opt for massaging rear seats back here. All right. Plenty of trunk space in the CT6 here. And you also have your spare tire. That's always nice to see. And you have a power trunk lid. So with plenty of standard and unique technological and luxury features available, it's elegant styling as well as it's